everyone, and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy, Ivorian Spice, back at it again with another match reaction, guys. And guys, of course, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and also remember to share. And if you want to contribute to this channel, you can always contribute via the link description, via PayPal, guys. Just check the link description. And also catch me live on Monday at 8 p.m. UK time for the catch-up to send your super touch super chat to help um, improve the quality content of this channel but guys let's get straight into it because i have had the worst weekend of them all first of all my manchester united team drawing dropping points and now my beloved country my nation ivory coast dropping points yes it is ivory coast to Sierra leone to ivory coast dropping two points could have qualified for the next round of the african cup of nation but missed out on stupidity stupidness towards the dramatic end of the game the keeper giving away hello making a mistake yes i have my Sierra Leone friends calling me left right and center disrespecting the fact that i have to do a match reaction i'm like leave me alone i don't have time to talk to you guys leave me alone guys just because you drew against ivory coast doesn't mean you need to call me and disturb my life. Leave me alone. Let me be. Like, let me focus on doing my match reaction and delivering these guys a beautiful, wonderful content as well. But that game, <sighs> Ivory Coast themselves. Ivory Coast always does this to us. You always annoy us by giving us those, those things that we won't be surprised. We sat there in that match thinking... I won't be surprised if Ivory Coast don't draw, draw this game. And they do. They draw it. They let us down. Les Elephants, man, you've been nest on it more. Ah, come on, man. Oh, piton, piton, piton. But guys, that performance from Ivory Coast, it was a wonderful game, a brilliant game for the neutrals. You know, if you're a neutral and you're watching this game, if you're if you're from Sierra Leone, you watch, you watch that game, of course, you it, it, it's, it's a momentum, a happiest occasion for you. But for us Ivorians, we are annoyed. We are so annoyed. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. The performance itself, Ivory Coast started off well despite missing the penalty. Frank Kessie, I want to say something. You're annoying me. You're pissing me off. Performance-wise today, you were shit. Shit. Super shit. He annoyed me. He could have had so many opportunities to score goals. But the penalty he missed, lazy. Lazy penalty. Frank Kessie, the third African Cup of Nations so far, and you have disappointed me. We expect so much from my beloved Frank Kessie, you know, the wonderful talent, the playmaker from AC Milan. But so far in this tournament, he has been dreadful, disappointing, missing the penalty, which, I, which was sloppy. Ivory Coast controlled the game in the first half. You know, I, we was always in control despite how decent and how good they were um, Cyril on that time. With Sebastian Halal scoring the first goal, which was a brilliant goal, brilliant goal by Sebastian Halal, brilliant assist by Wolf Rizal to feed him in, to pass the ball onto Halal's feet for Halal to, for, for a simple finish. You know, making it one goal, one nil. Scoring his first goal in the African Cup of Nation tournament to get him up and running because he needs the goals, especially later on in the, in, in the latter stage. That's if Ivory Coast goes through. Again, 1-0 one nil, one nil half time. Ivory Coast in the second half. Sloppy start as Ivory Coast can see the goal by Surinion. Surinion making it 1-1. One, one. We had, of course, Musa Kumara, who also equalised, scoring his first goal, setting the place for Surinion to get their first goal in the African Cup of Nation. Big up to Surinion, who done so well against Ivory Coast. And then Ivory Coast in the second half again, sloppy finishes, could have had uh, another goal, but missed it as well. Then eventually, Nicolas Pepe made it 2-1, scoring that goal as well. I was so happy. I was I was in the mood. It was a brilliant goal by Pepe. Brilliant move by the boys as well. Um, Smashing Halal, instrumental in the goal. Passing the ball to Sangara, to Sangara to lead it in, passing it to Pepe. Pepe for a neat, tidy finish in the bottom left-hand corner. Syrian goalkeeper had, had nothing. He couldn't do nothing about it. But then again... The dying seconds, Sierra Leone coming on, coming on to us and our side, we thinking, no, don't do this. My own woman said, 
it looks like I've ghost and conceded. And I'm, I said to myself, yeah, I, I agree. Yes, yes, yes. I, I feel like I won't be surprised if they do. And they did. They did. They conceded by Sangara, the goalkeeper himself, may, 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 giving a howl or blunder. I don't know what happened there. I don't know what type of food that it was there. I, I, no one can explain what happened with Sangara when he caught that ball, lost the ball, hurt himself with Sierra Leone players getting that ball. Of course, capitalizing on Ivory Coast. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely disappointed with the results ending 2 2. Ivory Coast dropping two points twice. At Sierra Leone came back to show exactly what they made of their first competition in the longest time. Then, with two points, if they was to beat Equatorial Guinea and we was to draw, they will go through, they will advance. So, they've got a good chance as well. And with us, if we play Algeria, especially those North African teams, you know our history with North African teams, we will lose. We will lose now that the onus is on us. And if Algeria do pick up some points and win, we're just hoping that they draw so we can go through. We all lose so we can get those that position. But it is what it is. But there, guys, man of the match today has to go to Sebastian Halal. Halal was terrific, very involved with with all the goals as well. Everything positive coming from Ivory goals came from Halal going forward as well. Wonderful talent that we have in our, in our disposal, guys. Don't give the match. Frank Kessie. Frank Kessie has been letting me down. He could have scored goals. Ivory Coast could have scored goals again. So many chances. Frank Kessie definitely don't give the match. He was horrible, guys. You guys let me know what your thoughts of the game was. Who you thought your rules, your man of the match, and who was your don't give the match. Because I thought Sierra Leone did well as well. Big ups to Sierra Leone as well, who done fantastically well. This has been your match reaction, guys, from your boy, Ivor and Spice, the players as well. I thought Kessie, Saha did well and Pepe did well. Bay did well. Conan did well. Um, but Kessie, nah. But guys, it is, like I said before, as this is your match reaction from Ivor and Spice. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and also remember to share. Press the notification as well to whenever I go live. Make sure you tune in on Monday, 8 p.m. at UK time for the catch-up volume 73, I believe. I can't believe it. But yes, guys, make sure you tune in, subscribe as well. And of course, make sure you send your contribution via PayPal and join us for the Super Chat as well to send us your contribute. But then again, till next, till tomorrow, guys, it is what it is for us fans. Remember, as always, remember to keep it united. Les Elephants, remember to keep it full, of course. And also remember to keep it red united. It's your boy. Peace out. I am out. I'm tired. What a horrible weekend it has been. Draw, draw, draw. Ah.